Hi, James here. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial of how to use shape keys in Blender. And to do this, I'm just going to morph a cube into a sphere and back to a cube. So first of all, the cube in the default scene is fine. Press tab to go into it then right click and we're going to subdivide it and subdivide it again and subdivide it once more because we're just going to need some of these points to be able to make it into a sphere. If you only had the corners, it wouldn't make a very good sphere. I'm going to tab back out. So pressing the tab button to go back out. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on data and then you'll have this place for shape keys. Click once and that's going to be your basic shape. And now click again and now whichever one of these is selected is the one you're going to be editing. So let's select the key, go over here, press tab and now you can either go F3 and search for to sphere or you can press Shift Alt S and just drag and that will make your object into a sphere. Now you'll notice when I tap back out, it automatically goes back to being a cube. And all you have to do here is go to your key one and change your value to make it turn into a sphere. Now I'll just, as a bonus, let's animate this. So I'm going to hit animation. I'm going to ch change her end to 100. And I'm going to go back to my data over here on the cube, frame one. I'm going to click here to add a keyframe. I'm going to go into the middle, so frame 50. I'm going to make this all the way up to one. Put the little diamond to add a keyframe. Now I'm going to go to the end, put it back to zero. Put the diamond to make a keyframe. And now you can play. And you can see that it's morphing between the two. Now I'm going to right click on it and shade auto smooth just to make it look a bit nicer. I'm also going to select all these keyframes. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add interpolation and I'm going to choose curve. And if you want to see what this looks like, you can click over here, click your graph editor. I like to press this normalize. And you can see the curve and you can edit, move these points to change what the curve is like. But now if I play the animation, it'll kind of have a little bit of bounce to it. I won't have that linear look that I have before. So that's all there is to making shape keys. If you want, you can make more shape keys. So you can have four or five or any number of shape keys you want on an object. If you found this helpful, Please like and subscribe, it really helps the video get some visibility and it means that when I make more videos more people see it, which also encourages me to make more. So I hope you have a great day and if you want to come and share your projects with me, please join the Discord in the description.